All right, this is how to clean your foam pads uh, for your buffer. Um, I use some red compound. The white used to come in a green and the red used to come in a red can, but this stuff's extra stripping for like paint marks and stuff. And I just used some dish soap. You can use some orange cleaner, which works real well. And I let it soak. Put a bunch of soap on there. Let it soak. All right, orange cleaner. And I just want to make sure that this doesn't come off this Velcro thing. And um, I just let it sit. Rub it around. You can use a toothbrush or a bigger brush that's the same softness of a toothbrush and scrub around on these and get them clean get the pores clean just lay it upside down and always get these rinsed out a little bit before i put them in the washer to get some of the stuff out and then you uh can uh, squeeze them out and lay them out to dry and dry overnight or you can spin it out on your buffer put it on your buffer spin it out kind of at an angle and, uh, and then lay it out in the sun for about an hour and it'll be dry if you need to use it right away. But these last a really long time, so you don't need lots of them. Uh, you know, if you're working one car and you're doing a lot of different things, if you're cutting with red or cutting with white, you know, or a polisher or glazer, if you want to use a separate pad for each chemical. Um, I mean, you can even write with marker on here what, your, what chemical you use this pad for. Um... And then wash it out and you could start over with something else different. Uh, they're really great pads. They can go up to like a year of, you know, like everyday use. They really last a long time, those pads. But that's what I do. So I hope it works out for you. And enjoy working on those cars. Uh, oops. This is... A really cool buffer I like. It's not too heavy, not too light. It really runs well. Um, I hardly even use it on the maximum speed uh, that I got from Walmart. It's the most expensive kit that they have. So you might want to check it out. I put my own Velcro on there. And uh, it was really nice. Really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. I bought a, like a pro buffer at Harbor Freight. And uh, I didn't care for that. And this was, oh, about $50 for the kit. And it's 45% past for everything. It's excellent. Let me see here. That box is black. This is the one I bought by Auto Spa. Six inch professional polisher. And it has those bonnets. They're worthless. And I took, I took this pad off. Scrape that pad off and um, you scraped off the rest with a razor blade and put that Velcro on there. Boy, I love it. And then I buy my polishing pads at Harbor Freight. It was really the best deal I found. I looked at Lowe's and Home Depot and all kinds of places. Walmart. Walmart doesn't carry much, but um, at least four Walmarts that I went to. But uh, these are really reasonable. Six inches under ten dollars, and the eight inches around ten dollars. Um, you can go an inch above what your buffer is, and it won't hurt it. I wouldn't go below, but it needs to be the size of the buffing wheel or a little bit larger, um, and it'll be fine. But uh, love them. Excellent, excellent, excellent product. Really, really nice. Really nice. So. Hope you enjoyed that, and hope you get your pads clean like me. Make sure to rinse them in hot water. Fill the sink with hot water and squeeze it a lot and get the rest out and then spin them or just let them dry. Talk to you later. You have a great one.